they say education is a weapon to change the world. But that answer will not be waiting in Nigeria to get if government continue to behave the way that they behave now to touch like the palaver for the sector. Our talk talk person, Messi Emmanuel, when we say follow for the roundtable matter, when we say the education reform and innovation team, here it, and they do for Lagos, he get the report. Don't they very important? Say make talk talk where concern education for we country begin. As well as CB say, now Nigeria gets the highest number of children we come out from school. One non-profit organization with the name Education Reform and Innovative Team, ERIT, don't promise say them go put hand join the Lagos State Government to help better this education balava. Education in Nigeria is in a state of crisis, and so ERIT is determined to make a dent in the problem and in the crisis. We cannot continue to fold our hands while our colleges of education turn out our big teachers and then pray for miracles that they will be able to educate our best and brightest to become future leaders. How can they give what they don't have? Our colleges must produce qualified and competent teachers and instructors. Our education was designed for the industrial mass production 19th century. If not, how can you explain a curriculum that still has a typewriter and teaches shorthand when students in primary schools in the US are building drones and robots? Government needs to always engage private sector. We need to be a community of conversant people. The person with you on top of the Lagos State Education Matter, Ms. Fola Shadia De Fisayo, with the presence for the event, come bring up some better, better points with some children they face. And on top of this point, now make the children know the Sabi book again. Also, for on top of this matter, them can't talk many things where they fit better this situation. The social dimension is critical. <laughs> They are very poor children from very poor homes. Most of them are working children, let's face it. That's why they will get to school late, because they're going to wake up in the morning to cook, to clean, take madame's children to the private school before walking down to the public school. We must leverage technology, and we must improve school governance and administration. Let me tell you, nothing will work if we do not improve the quality of the civil service. With all due respect, I've said I've met some very clever people, but I've also met too many people who are hidebound and have taken a position and they're not going to move from that position. So again, we have to do a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, capacity building, changing attitudes, changing mindset, which is never easy. By Israel, the bros where they represent suburb, can also talk on ways to better the education area. In partnership with uh, LEN, which is the Specialized Foundation, um, Subem has been doing a lot in nominating a very good, bright, indigent, poor background students from across Lagos State, nominating them to for scholarship, and they're going to private, you know, private secondary schools, Day Waterman College, and the likes, and all of that. Of course, there are challenges in terms of um, maximizing the numbers, which I'm happy that the Honorable Commissioner and Subeb is working together to introduce uh, a new program in Co-Excel, which I'm sure the Commissioner will allude to when she takes the stage, which will revitalize and introduce technology into our classroom. What we, what we believe that that will help us to do is to also deal with issues of literacy and numeracy. Children really benefit from the slum to school Africa. Can also talk their minds, as per se, these better, better things where they don't gain. They must also beg the government to help children where they live for ghettos and slums. Say, so, cause make them no go get early belly or child labor and other abuses as well where them they face. Many of my young colleagues that are outside, pregnant from 13 to 15, 14 in my communities, just because of what? They think if they go back to school, the school will not accept them. And the authorities, the school authorities are not even ready to accept them back to school. So they think if they are pregnant, that's the end of life for them. It don't declare, say private hands, COVID helped this education palaver where we face for Nigeria today.